<laughs> it wasn't very hot because it was open at the bottom. <laughs> and you were just wearing little tights. <laughs> and I was wearing tights. So, uh, you know, it was, and they, there, it was a lot of breathing. Uh, well, first thing that pops in my head is big riffs and uh, he did he guessed it on a song on our last record on uh, reason to change nicest yeah. guy thick Scottish accent um, Total gentleman. Yeah L uh, The last time we were on tour going through Scotland and he couldn't be at the show and he sent gifts to the venue That's how sweet he is He's very sweet Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog, that's like OG true love, right? That, that reminds me <laughs> me and my wife. <laughs> oh, Rancid. Rancid. Childhood heroes. Best, some of the best uh, albums of all time. You know, Out Come the Wolves easily should be on I mean, everyone's. For my childhood, uh, I... We had, idolized them. We wanted to dress like them. Had a, um, I had a rancid poster on my on, on my our wall, wall that I was just like, um, just incredible people, uh, legends, icons. Couldn't say. I don't know if we could find the words to 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 give them the due credit and respect that they deserve. This is, those guys are our heroes. Yeah. Be so honest. so actually, we met them outside of a show, and we gave them our demo. And our demo, and on the demo there was a phone number, and Tim called the phone number and left a message, and we no, we met him randomly walking down the street. We met him. We've been to shows, but we met him walking, walking down the street. Walking down the street. We're, we're literally, uh, and, uh, and I was and like, was it in New York? I said, Joel, that's Tim Armstrong. Yeah, Ch and then chase down the street. And then the demo. like, yeah, and then a year or two later, we were playing next to them at a club in, in Boston, Boston yeah. and we gave them our CD, our first CD. No, no, dude, when we saw them in Boston, they remembered, Tim remembered us from the demo. Right. Because we, we went and we, we, went, we went and knocked on the door of the club because it was daytime and we were like, Rancid's playing next door. So we went and knocked on the door and we went in and like Tim completely remembered and um, so nice. he had called when he heard the demo and left a message. Um, and uh, cause like actually like um, our, back then it was like not everyone had cell phones. So it was a home phone number. So, and- So um, you had to leave a message on yeah, an answering machine. Yeah, to leave a message on an answering machine. And, um, and then um, was like really, really cool and very, very And very then cool. like and a then summer later we were on Warped we were on Tour together. together. And they totally ah. took us under their wing. Oh, pizza, that's like, uh, Good Charlotte's like pizza, right? That's like my like comfort food. When I'm sad, I just eat pizza. I did wear a pizza uh, costume in the I Just Wanna Live video. I was a slice of pizza. That was like one of your better moments. Yeah, it was. It's iconic. <laughs> it wasn't very hot because it was open at the bottom. <laughs> and you were just wearing little tights. <laughs> and I was wearing tights. So, uh, you know, it was, and they, there, it was a lot of breathing from the bottom down. I love One Direction. Um, the guys that I've I've actually gotten to hang out with from One Direction, I would say, uh, Just Lewis, kinda like Liam, and Harry, all very nice guys. Yeah, Nile too. I haven't hung out with Nile. I have. Oh, yeah. Very uh, almost you know, like fan favorite. Yeah. Is Nile. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he yeah. is. He's like I, supposedly. I feel like, I feel like um, and his music. Is is cool. Like I the the songs he released, I feel like they have a subtle, like '80s thing going on behind the like deeper in the in the musical, kind of uh, parts of the songs. Like I actually yeah. was like I heard one of the songs and I was like, this is good. Good, good dudes, nice guys. Yeah, we wrote uh, with Lewis and Liam, and we did some songs that never made it out. So I think like. They're somewhere in the lost tapes. In the lost tapes. So one day when they do the box set, like down the road, we are actually going to be on officially on a One Direction record, uh, probably when they release the box set. I'd say. Uh, Skating was a thing. We tried. Yeah. It reminds me of um, when we were kids. Yeah. Remember we went to that. I would just hold it. I would just hold the board and just like hang out with. Them. All the kids. Yeah. That guy looks like a much cooler skater than me. 
Like when I was a skater, I was much younger when I was trying to be a skater. I was probably eight or nine. And your little shorts were like... like yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had little shorts and vans. Um, but that guy looks super cool and looks like he knows what he's doing. So I don't want to say anything um, that could be con conceived as uh, disrespectful to him because I actually feel like he's he's like a really like true skater. And um, he looks like kind of a badass, so... I feel like he'd like hit me with his board if he maybe yeah probably mad. would probably would you'd be in trouble yeah oh yeah TRL what what fond memories um, those the back in the day there was a show called TRL in America and in the UK and we were on it a lot uh, we hosted it for a whole week one time remember that we were an incredible host actually like very dynamic hosts. I mean I don't know why we didn't like. A whole career didn't spin off that, but it, I actually think if we had the the audacity to go after a career just in hosting, just hosting, we'd actually could have another life, another you, career. I like you want a good inter video introduction. Let let that guy write. But I think we did some of the more poignant interviews on the. Uh, <laughs> They were poignant. Oh yeah, we really, they were hard hitting. Yeah. Oh, the boys. Five the, sauce. Well, okay, so the, that's a picture of Callum, who is actually my son. So Illegitimate. Yes, so people don't know this, um, but he's my son. I, 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 look, I wasn't in his life for a very long time. But reconnecting. And then though. we reconnected when he was older and he had started his band and um, and I taught him everything he knows. Um, he got all his talent from me. <laughs> uh, I love Five Seconds of Summer. We've we've. Uh, I mean, they're like the little bros. They're just yeah. I've spent a lot of time with those the best. guys. Yeah. Awesome. I love you, Callum. Love you guys. Love you, boys.